guys, this is MIS, and in this guide we're going to go over Disruptor's landing phase. Disruptor's landing phase is really all about rushing to level 6 as fast as possible. This means that you need to have strong lane mechanics, know when to zone, and know when to pull. In general, you want to start zoning a little bit at level 1. If the small camp isn't blocked, stack and pull it immediately. If you're successfully zoning the offlaner, do this about maybe about a minute until 140 and then go stack your small camp coupled with grabbing the rune. Once you're on your way back, focus on pulling for the rest of the landing phase. You need to get level 6 up as soon as possible. This is the most important part about Disruptor. You get a fast level 6, you can basically get aggressive on the map and find kills. If the offlaner starts getting over aggressive however, don't hesitate to punish him with your glimpse and kinetic field combo. Especially if your other supporter roamer comes to the lane, you can usually find a kill with simple glimpse back. Disruptor is very scary for offlaners because you can't run away, which is what offlaners spend 75% of the lane doing. Make sure you're efficient at last hitting the creeps you pull as well. Most of the time as Disruptor you're going to be playing as position 5, which means you need every bit of gold that you can get. Getting the courier up at 3 minutes to a bird, boots by 4 or 5 minutes, is perfectly reasonable on a support that has a jungle to pull and farm. If you miss last hits, you won't be able to do this and your farm will suffer. As a result, you might miss a kill. Boots allows you to get in range to find the glimpse on the targets running away. If they have boots and you don't have boots and you're out of range for glimpse, you're not going to get in range. If the lane is very easy and you've completely zoned the offlaner, sometimes Disruptor can smoke gank middle as well. This can happen at level 4 or 5 or 6, but usually 4 or 5 if you're going to opt for an early gank. Enemies sometimes won't expect it because they'll assume you're pulling the lane and they'll run onto the opposite high ground, farm some creeps, and try to run back. But if you're there, you glimpse him back to your high ground and you just kill him. Early ganking with Disruptor can be quite devastating, but also sort of taxing on experience because you're running around the map trying to find a kill. If you get a successful gank, you should go back to pulling the safe lane and finish up your 6 as soon as possible. You should not be focused on finding multiple kills or finding multiple ganks in the first 10 minutes of the game. Sometimes you can, and in a fast paced game slash professional game you might see it, but usually in solo queue you need to get your 6 up. Since Disruptor is a very good counter ganker with his glimpse and kinetic field, you can save your mid sometimes by just teleporting in and casting your spells. You don't need a stun, you don't need any heal, just if you block them out with your kinetic field and glimpse one person back, you can sometimes save your mid. So that's the end of Disruptor's laning phase, it's pretty simple. Focus on pulling, focus on your experience, and focus on your lane. If you still aren't level 6 by 10 minutes however, you need to buy the experience tome without a doubt. Make sure you're buying it as soon as possible so someone else doesn't get it. That may sound sort of greedy, but it really is that important for you as Disruptor. So see you guys in the next video, which will focus on Disruptor's mid and late game and how to team fight.